how to create an Amazon seller account step by step. So if you're someone looking into selling on Amazon and you need help with creating your Amazon seller account, I highly recommend you that you watch this video. There's a lot of things that you can do wrong whenever you're applying for your Amazon seller account. Uh, so make sure you watch this step by step and take notes. Let's go. All right, guys, welcome to yet another informative video. Um, in this channel, we talk everything that has to do with selling on Amazon, uh, making money online, and specifically e-commerce. So if you haven't yet, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and to enter a contest where we give out $100 directly to a person that comments the word Amazon FBA. So if we pick you as a winner, we'll send you $100 directly to your PayPal. That being said, congratulations to our winner from our last video right here be on the lookout for a hundred dollars and get ready to receive a hundred bucks all right that's amazing um again guys welcome 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 to another incredible video in this video we're going to cover everything that has to do with creating your amazon seller account there are a lot of things um, that you can do wrong whenever you are applying to get an account with amazon so we're going to help you avoid those in this video all right guys also if you're someone that's been looking into starting your amazon business uh, and you need some help well we actually have a coaching program all right uh, where we work with you one-on-one -on -one, uh, and we help you launch your Amazon business I'm a true believer in coaching I think it's the best way to have someone get success uh, we know we launch over 300 products every month um, so we kind of know what we're doing all right we know what things to avoid we know what products work what products don't uh, what you know what niches are saturated and so on because we have practically all the data all right guys so if you are someone that's interested on having us help you i highly recommend that you watch the video that i've put in the description of um, this video the video will give you a general idea on how amazon works it'll show you my exact strategies that i use to find products source from suppliers rank products on page one um, and after you watch the video, you'll be able to book a call with one of my uh, coaches on that call. We'll answer any questions that you have um, with selling on Amazon. We'll talk about your goals with the business and we'll talk about how we can help you get started. All right, guys, let's get going. This video has been shot by Ronnie. Ronnie is one of our coaches inside our Amazon FBA coaching program. All right, guys, let's get the video going. All right, everyone, it's Ronnie again with the AMC Academy. And today we're going to be going over how to create that Amazon account. So the first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to come to your Google browser or whatever browser you prefer. And you're going to type in seller central dot When you get to the screen, what I want you to do is I want you to click sign up. When you click sign up, you got to come down here and you need to click create your Amazon account. Now, what you need to do is you're going to have your first and last name right here. Okay. So you're going to put in whatever it legally is on all of your documents for the email. We prefer that you create a brand new email. We recommend using Gmail, but you can use any email, um, preference uh, website that you like. Gmail just commonly is the one that works the best with Amazon. The reason we recommend creating that new email, guys, is because you don't want anything associated or tied with this email. So all of your business information that gets sent to this email is just going to be tied to Amazon. So when you create that email, okay, make sure that everything is spelled correctly. So I even like to come here and just click this guy and look at my email right here and copy and paste it just so it's exactly spelled correctly. When you do that, you're going to come here and you're going to create a password, whatever you would like. And then you're going to click next. Now, when you click next, you have to go to that email and you have to enter the OTP code that it just sent you. So as you can see, you're going to get that um, email that rolls through. You're going to click it and then you're going to get that OTP code. You're going to click create your Amazon account and then you're going to see this screen. So this is pretty much everything Amazon requires. You will need a valid ID or passport that is current, not expired. You're going to need your most recent bank account or credit card statement. 
It has to be in your name and it has to have the same address that you're going to enter in right now to create this Amazon seller account. You need to make sure that you have a chargeable credit card that can be a debit card. So as long as you have the Visa or MasterCard logo on your debit card, you're, you're going to need one of those. And then of course, you're going to need a mobile phone number. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click begin. After you click begin, you're going to see the business location. Your business location has to be where you currently live. But here's the catch. With the business location, let's say that you have a bank account in Canada, but you're living in the United States. The business location has to follow wherever the bank account is. And you have to be able to have access to that address, wherever that bank account is currently at. So that's the only difference right here with that business location. So for me, everything's in one place. I'm going to go down and we're going to select the United States. For the business type right here, you're going to go all the way down and you're going to select none. I'm an individual. Now, a lot of people that do have entities or LLCs, they actually like to wait to add that information until the account is actually created. Because once the account's created, you can tie the LLC and blend it with the EIN. So it's better and it's quicker to select none. I'm an individual. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to put in your first and last name again exactly as it appears on all of your legal documents. You're gonna click I confirm, and then you're gonna agree and continue. Once you do this, what you're gonna do is you are going to come down here and you're gonna select your country of citizenship. So it's okay, don't worry if you live in the United States, but you still have your citizenship, let's say in Mexico, completely fine, just be honest and truthful here. Your country of birth, you're also going to select that wherever it currently or not currently where it is. And then right here, you're going to put your date of birth. So it's the day first and then it's going to be the month. So let, don't let that confuse you. You're going to come right here and you're going to put in your year and then what's your identity proof. So you can either upload a driver's license or you can put a passport. So I'm going to select driver's license. Your country of issue, of course, wherever that driver's license is coming from. And then you're going to want to put your address. Now, again, this address right here, it has to match whatever is on that bank statement. So if your address is different than what's on the bank statement, you're going to need to update either the bank statement or put in that correct address right here. So it has to match that bank statement. Okay. You're going to come here. You're going to put in your city. All right. We're going to put our state, which is California. And then we're going to put in that zip code. Now, right down here, you have the characters. Okay. So you want to type in your characters. So we're just going to type those guys. There we go. You're going to enter in that phone number. And then you're going to send an SMS. You're going to wait to get that SMS. And then you're going to enter it from your cell phone. So it looks like it's 879677. Okay. We're going to verify. Now, right here for the driver's license number, you're going to put in whatever the number is. And then you're going to put in the date of expiration. And then we're going to click next. Okay. For your payment information. All right. You have to have a bank account, especially in the United States. So Amazon can submit your actual funds when you start receiving a profit into that bank account. You're also going to need again, that chargeable credit card. Okay. We're going to go over that on that screen. So let's click continue. So the best thing to do once you get to this screen, guys, is select whatever your country is, all right? So we are in the United States. That's what we're going to select. If you're in a different country, it might take you to a third party um, WISE or transfer website, and it might have you link it through that. It's completely normal and safe. Just make sure you follow those prompts, okay? And they will connect you internationally. So the best thing for the institution name right here is you want to type out whatever the name of your bank is. So like for me, it's Chase Bank, right? So I'm going to select that. If your bank does not populate, when you type in the name of the bank, for example, 
what you're going to do is you're going to delete it and then you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to select the word others all the way at the bottom and then it's going to allow you to manually type in your bank so that's only if you don't see your actual bank pop up so i did see chase so we're going to select that now what we're going to do here is we're going to have um our routing number and then we're going to put in a bank account number All right, there we go, we're gonna verify. Okay, so right here, it says pending completely normal. Everyone is gonna get this on this part of your bank account. You're gonna click continue. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to have the option to enter in your credit card information. So for this guy right here, you wanna make sure that you have a credit card on file. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to enter that. Even if it is a debit card, that's completely fine. It just has to have the, the Visa or MasterCard logo on it for it to get charged, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter this. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put our expiration dates. We're going to come down. We're going to do... We're going to go ahead and we're going to put in our first and last name and you're going to have your address right here. Again, all the numbers have been changed for obvious reasons, creating the seller account. Please keep in mind that right here, you see that you will be charged a monthly subscription fee. So what happens is, is to create the seller account, Amazon does charge you a $39 um, fee to create it. Now, I will be honest, they do sometimes refund that $39.99. Um, in some cases, I have seen that the fee does stay. However, Amazon should not charge you again until the seller account actually is active and it has inventory and it is consistently working and selling. So usually what I see is once you create the seller account, if you don't have any movement on it, you don't upload a listing, you're not selling anything, you shouldn't be charged again. If you do get charged again, we have a video on our YouTube channel that shows you how to downgrade your actual seller account. Because if you don't have actual inventory or you're not currently selling, you should not be paying that $39 fee and it's easy to downgrade. But to create the account, they do want to see a chargeable credit card on the account. So we're going to go ahead and click next. Alrighty, so right here you're gonna create a store name, whatever you want. Keep it nice, keep it um, keep it simple, don't make it niche specific. So for number one, we don't know what we're gonna sell just yet and you eventually wanna sell a bunch of different products. So you don't wanna be like Annie's Kitchen Supplies or you don't wanna say like, the baby store supplies because eventually you might get into a lot of different products on amazon so you want to make it pretty broad so like for example we're going to type in like some names so we'll say like annie and stores and then like you just click somewhere on the outside and then right here it'll tell you if it's available or if it's not Typically, if it's not available, you can just add the word like store, like see how it's not available, just the word Annie. So you can add the word store. You can add the word LLC. You can add the word LTD. You can add the word ink. You can even add like, you know, the and symbol and then co, or you can write like company. You could write um, a supply house. There's so many good ways to actually like create a store name that you love and just add those prefixes to the end to be able to keep that, you know, main um, name that you like so much. Now, don't worry if you're not completely in love with your store name when you're adding it, you can always update those things in your settings later. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go Annie's um, Annie's stores or Annie's Annie's. Annie's store, Annie's, we're going to do Annie's over here, Annie's store, there you go. Okay, um, right here, do you have your universal product codes? We're going to select yes for this. And then do you have any diversity certifications? You're going to select no. And then do are you the manufacturer or brand owner? Yes, you are. You are going to get all of your products manufactured and made to your liking. And then do you own the government registered trademark? You could say yes for this. Do not worry, these questions being answered in this way are not going to affect or impact your ability to register for your seller account, but this is a good way to answer them. We're going to go ahead and we're going to click next. 
Once we click next, this is where you want to verify everything. You need to make sure that all of your information right here is completely accurate and there is nothing that is misspelled. If anything is misspelled right here, you are not going to be able to get your seller account you know, created. You can click previous right here and it will actually bring you back to the previous pages. So if you do need to update any of that information, you're able to do so and you can definitely make sure that you get that done before you actually go through and create that seller account so just make sure everything is input correctly right here so we're going to go ahead and get back to that verification page Okay, now when you're uploading your documents, okay, you have a certain format that you need to use. So right here, we're gonna upload the front side of our driver's license and then the back side. So the format has to be PNG, TIFF, um, JPEG, J JPEG, JPEG, and then a PDF. So those are the supported documents. I highly recommend that when you're taking a picture of your actual driver's license, you either are holding it and you take a picture or you have it on a flat surface and you have some of the background showing. So it's like kind of far away. Amazon likes it to look like a live version. If it's scanned or it's, um, you know, scanned through your iPhone, typically it won't be accepted right away. That's what I found that is really successful with getting driver's license and documents accepted. So we're going to click continue and then I'm going to go ahead and find wherever my driver's license is. Boom. Okay. I'm going to do the back side. There it is. Okay. And then right here you have the choice to do your bank account or your credit card statement. So again, you don't want to alter these, these um, statements. It has to be in a PDF form. I highly recommend you just grab that from your actual, um, you know, app on your bank or your online banking and you just, you download that PDF. So just email it to yourself and then you can download it to your computer and do it that way. It's just the most efficient way. So we'll come here and then we're going to find that bank statement. There it is right there. All right. You upload that bank statement and then we're going to click next. Once you click next, you are going to have two options from Amazon. So the first option is you're going to take a photo of your face or you're going to join a live call. I highly recommend you choose to take a photo of your face. So all you would need to do is make sure that you have a working camera on your computer. And then what you're going to need to do is you're going to hold your driver's license and you're going to basically just snap a picture with Amazon. Um, the second option is to join a video call with an associate. It's just like this. It'll be with an Amazon representative and they are going to basically just verify everything that you put in. Your camera does need to be on for this one if you do do that. So we're going to take a photo and we're going to click next. So we're going to click checking that we approve it. And then we're going to click next right here. And then all you need to do guys is you're going to follow the prompts and then you're going to start your identity check and you're going to take that picture. All right, guys, I hope this really helped you and we'll see you on the next one. Did you guys like that? I know you did. If you're someone that's been looking for some help with creating your Amazon business, then I highly recommend you that you watch the video below. It'll give you all the information that you need when it comes to launching your business. Uh, and you'll be able to even book a call with myself or my team where we can answer any of your questions. All right. So make sure you do that. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. It helps us out a lot. As you know, we put a lot of work into this channel. I highly recommend you that you watch all of our other videos as well. If you're doing this business by yourself, this channel will help you get started the right way. We constantly update videos. We're giving you new information, new tips and tricks when it comes to selling on Amazon. So subscribe, make sure you just give this video a thumbs up and comment the word Amazon FBA for a chance for you to win $100 directly to your PayPal. I'll see you on the next.